This is The Nation in 5. I am Picasso John. Who do you turn to for the best in radio when you want to know what's happening in news and sports and for exciting educational programming? And tell me this, where do you turn for the best quality music and entertainment in SVG? You turn to NBC. That's who? Your family action station. Let the others talk. We stimulate the brain. 90.7, 107.5. This and the in parliament was meeting Friday, but without the presence of the opposition. The opposition members were again boycotting the sit-in of the House of Assembly. The Speaker of the House, Hendricks Alexander, read from a letter where the leader of the opposition, Arnim Eustace, said they were staging the boycotting over a number of issues, including the poor fiscal and economic situation of the country. And he had intended to refer to Rule 74, one of the standing orders in determining whether this move is in conformity. This standing order speaks to the adequacy of time in providing such information to the clerk of the House of Assembly. The parliamentary opposition has been periodically boycotting meetings of the parliament and refusing to name persons to sit in committees to the House of Assembly turn to for the best in radio when you want to know what's happening in news and sports and for exciting educational programming and tell me this where do you turn for the best quality music and entertainment in svg you turn to nbc that's who your family action station let the others talk we stimulate the brain 90.7 107.5 fm the annual national independence ecumenical service of thanksgiving takes place on sunday and organizers have harnessed the input of a wide cross-section of the faith-based community to actively participate in the program. In fact, the churches have organized the event to mark the nation's 35th independence anniversary in association with the Christian Council. The religious leaders will share the program with two main political leaders, Dr. Ralph Gonzales, Prime Minister, who will read the Old Testament lesson, and Arnim Eustace, leader of the parliamentary opposition, who will read from the New Testament. Prayers will be done for the church political and civil leaders, the family youths, peace, reconciliation, health and well-being, among other areas. The Reverend Canon Ashton Francis of the Anglican Church will deliver the sermon. The theme for the Thanksgiving service is working together to enhance national pride. It will be held from 5 p.m. at the Faith Temple Church at New Montrose. You turn to for the best in radio when you want to know what's happening in news and sports and for exciting educational programming you turn to nbc that's who your family action station let the others talk we stimulate the brain 90.7 107.6 students will compete on saturday for the privilege to represent the girls high school at the national secondary schools miss heritage pageant next year the ghs will stage its internal pageant at the russell cinema at seven on saturday night the theme is our lasting legacy. Who did this to we? The young ladies have been asked to select one woman who they believe has contributed significantly to the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and they will portray their selection on stage. Rajisha Hazel has chosen the Education Minister, Carolyn Miguel. Kenisha Llewellyn will pay tribute to retired Health Administrator, Dr. Kathleen Kitty Israel. Keith Earl Miller chose lawyer and former parliamentarian, Rene Batiste. Adrian Straker will pay tribute to social activist and former public servant Nelisa Robinson. Kayla Phillips chose Diana Day Hines, a self-employed entrepreneur. While Nelisha Williams will pay tribute to tourism expert Vera Ann Barretta. Organizers say they expect a keenly contested show. Latifa Noel won the contest last year. Turn to for the best in radio when you want to know what's happening in news and sports and for exciting educational programming. NBC, that's who, your family action station. Let the others talk. We stimulate the brain. 90.7, 107.5. In sports news, St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister, Dr. Ralph Gonsal said he had submitted some proposals to West Indies cricket officials that can be used to resolve the ongoing problems between the board and players. He did not go into details but said in Parliament Friday that he had written to the WICB president, setting out a proposal for a framework for a possible resolution to the issues. Following an emergency meeting on Barbados Wednesday, the WICB decided to set up a task force to meet with the Board of Cricket in India. The West Indies abandoned their tour of India last week over a pay dispute with them. And the weather for the rest of the evening will be partly cloudy to cloudy with some showers and the chance of isolated thunderstorms.
And that's the Nation in 5. I am Picasso John.